There we go. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Where is New Atlantis? Oh, that must be right there. That's why. You couldn't actually fly down there yourself. Still learning. I haven't watched any other videos just to make sure it's all surprised. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is... Uncanny. I guess I don't have to have my helmet on. I guess I could leave that one on. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go. You see that scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees? Sounds upset? Whatever it is. Yeah, nobody else is in a spacesuit. Let me see, can I take it off? This one I have.
and I won't stand out quite as much. Senior file. Just as Pilgrim. Uh, select destration. Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. free to pause and read these over. I don't want to spend too much time reading through these things right now. I might go back at a later date and replay it and rewatch all this stuff you know, so I can read these things. But it makes so that it's a really long video if you don't, now, if you do. <laughs> think you've got what it takes to tackle the business world. Yes, Fancy that's not the direction we want to go. Megastar. must be over this way. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Just one quiet day. We may be in a United Colonies city. But Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Another day, another shift. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. <laughs> Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Mateo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Godfrey, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. 
Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, it means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. points and other things other than combat. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative Feel free note. to help yourself at everyone the bar. Here is I don't drink, though. but I yes. feel like if I did, the kid. now would be a good time for one. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo. Theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. You mind if I ask you but the first one, question, right under our noses for years, right sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? That when I, am home, I remain preoccupied. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if the label fits. Oh. 
Okay, that's all right. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe it'll make sense later. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. <laughs> well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. You're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Bye. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. I'm just a walking bank account, aren't I? Nonsense, Walter. Your sparkling personality is why we love you. Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right, so you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Yeah, Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. I am at your service, It was a bit to do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here.
So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. guy walks so fast so you have to kind of okay this will be you common room on one side so that'll be quiet and Mateo on the other side so maybe a little less quiet I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us so I'd better get back to it don't want to keep her waiting too long enjoy Kid in there. Do some picture frame. So, are you ready to get to work, or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an... Electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Okay, I think we're going to end right there. Uh, we'll continue in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.